In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the configuration and use of external tools with Screenshot Capture. As I said in a previous video, rather than try to pack every function imaginable into the program itself, Screenshot Capture is designed to make it easy to interface external tools. If we look in the Tools menu, we can see some tools I have previously configured. And let's just bring up the Configure dialog here to take a look at how a tool is added. You can add a tool here and you can see what we've, we can specify the title, the actual program, the working directory and some parameters and we've got some macros here that can be used to refer to the image or the current directory etc. So let's close this. You can also um, share tools by um, distributing little packages that have this information pre-configured so it makes it easy for people to configure tools and share those configurations. Let's just take a look at some of them. You can also, in addition to through the tools menu, you can use this button here. Let's bring up color the color cop, which is a great free program for picking colors. And we can see how we could select a color on the screen. Or we can bring up um, Earthen View, which is a common and very nice graphics viewer that lets you do certain operations that maybe are outside the realm of the screenshot capture program itself. Or you can do several operations on the image. You might imagine a tool to upload the file to an FTP and let me just take this opportunity to remind you that you can right click on an image and access the context menu. But let me just show you quickly ways that you can edit the image in an external graphics editor since that's quite common. Now you'll notice in this image that I've got an arrow and when I bring up uh, PaintShot Pro to edit this image you'll notice the arrow is gone. That's because I've got this option configured to open a version of the file, a temporary version of the file with no objects. And Now let me just draw on this using this program. and save it and close the program and I want you to notice here that Screenshot Capture has detected that the, pro that the file has been edited, loaded it back in and then placed the object back on top of the image. So the point here to notice is that you can actually modify the file without disrupting any arrows or clip art that you've placed on the program, on the image. Now, there are other ways to call graphic editors if you want the objects passed along with it, etc. There you have the external tool configuration and usage with Screenshot Capture.